Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a very important question and we hope that Muslims they will help us to receive some answers. We heard the Muslims always saying show me where Jesus said I am God worship me. And for sure, the Bible full of verses, Jesus is speaking about himself as God. And there is a one famous one where they ask him to show God. He said, the one who saw me, he saw him. What is more clear can be more than this. When Jesus spoke to the Jews, and he said to them, what do you say of the Christ, the Messiah? They said he is a son of David. The Messiah, but remember here the one is talking is the Messiah, not any of the apostles, said to them, Well, if he is the son of David, then how David he call him Lord? And he quote for them what David said from the Old Testament. So the Muslims, obviously, when they ask about if Jesus is God or not, they are not asking to learn, they are just asking to ask and to play the game. But if we return the same question to the Muslim Abdul, and we say to them, show me where Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. And this is my challenge to the Muslims, to show me where Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. You know what the Muslims will do if I say that to them? Who can guess? What they will do? They will show us verses from the Quran, saying that Allah said that I am God worship me but remember the one who said that is Muhammad is not Allah there's no proof that Allah even is exist everything they have is a from one guy and this guy himself according to them he never spoke to Allah he never saw Allah he never spoke to Allah he never heard the voice of Allah he never heard the sneeze of Allah he never saw the nose of Allah he never heard even the fart of Allah so how you know that he is speaking to Allah where where Allah said I am God worship me if you go to Islamic website and you know there's tons of them trying to find out who is Allah and everybody give you a speech but nobody is giving us really reference Allah is an Aramaic word diverted from the word God well, no this is not true every every is by the way every Islamic website give you a different definition for Allah when we spoke last week with Imam Dr. Rohi, we asked him what Allah mean. If you remember, he said, Allah, it's an Arabic word said by an Arab man. We do not know who is he, the first one who said Allah. And it's mean worship something. Worship something. Something. I like it when Middle Eastern they say something, you know, something. So, you know, the word Allah is a word mean worship something. You go to different verse, different different website, you know, they will give you different title. They will say Allah is coming from the word Al-Ilah, which is an Aramaic word, which is absolutely a joke, you know. Obviously, that no, too many different opinion because they are confused. None of them he have any idea where the name is coming from. But anyway, the name today is not our problem. You call him Allah, you call him Mercedes-Benz, you call him Toyota, I don't care. Not one time in Islam, Allah spoke and he said, I am God, worship me. And I challenge any Muslim to prove it to me. Or what you have, you have a Quran, but the Quran is proven to us, this is cannot be Allah speaking if Allah is exist. And we can prove it easy. I mean, you go to the first verse in the Quran, look what it says. Look at this, let's look at this disaster. How Allah is God and he says such a thing and how Allah is talking but he says such a thing obviously this is an author who is making a book it's called Quran Allah he say in the name of Allah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim 
I mean, have you ever heard of a joke like this? Imagine Trump, he go in the stage, he says, in the name of a Trump, the, the, the mercy, the merciful. This is going to be God speaking. If God is talking, he will not say in the name of Allah. When, when somebody speak, say in the name of someone, obviously it is not him who is talking. Guys, why we don't? <coughs> why we have a few people here? Please invite your friends. Later, we are going to give out versions. All right. Version, version, male and female. As uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Zakir Naik he said, they ask him, uh, brother, how come in um, Islamic faith, uh, w women uh, like uh, uh, men, they will have seventy virgin, but the man he will not have uh, uh, the the, the women. You know, the women she will not have seventy virgin man. He said, Brother Sitter, first of all, the word hur is a plural word. And it's a plural word, and the mean other thing is that it can be female. Like, what, 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 what? I could not. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to me, Your English is funny. I have no idea what this guy he just said. So the word hur, brother, the word hur, it is not a male or a female, it's a plural name. And it can be for both. Like, what, what? I have a news for you, Muslims. Based in Jack and Nike, your mother, she will have 72. <clears throat> your mother, she will be very busy. MashaAllah. Yeah, well, the guy, he was going to uh, to do the, you know, I have somebody coming to do the work. Uh, he looked like he is busy. So maybe tomorrow. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Who is talking? Who's talking? Allah is saying, Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. How that can be God? Obviously, always the one who wrote the Quran, he forget to switch between him talking and between Allah speaking. If you go right now and search in English, in English, you know, it is he who created the word. It is he. I want to go to the Muslim website. Hold on. I mean, look at this disaster. This is the Muslim website trying to present to us Allah. And look what they say. When they want to prove to us that Allah is a true God. So what they say? Allah say in the name of God, the merciful. <laughs> in the name of God, so who is he? And look how they translated the word Allah as God, which is false. Allah is a name supposedly for the Muslims. But it's not a full name really. Allah, as we taught you before, A-L is in, in, in the Arabic language today, mean the, but in the old ancient language, which is coming from the Aramaic, mean the, we mean the God. So when you put the word L in the front of any name, you just said God, and then you add the name. This is why in the old Hebrew, the names which we know today are not really how they are. As an example, it was not Emmanuel at the end. Now we have Il. In the ancient Hebrew, it was Emmanuel. It was not Israel. It was Israel, etc. It was not Ishmael. It was Ishmael, which mean at the end, we change, we switch from A-L, which means God, to E-L, which means God. But here you see the Muslims are so confused and they have no idea what they are talking about. So every one of them, he give us different uh, mythology as if they are different religion. So my Skype is open. Who is the Muslim want to show me where Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. Who can do so? Who is the brave Muslim who can prove to us that Allah, he said, I am God, worship me? There's no proof. All what they have, they have a book, it's called the Quran. And who is the one who speak in the Quran? Muhammad received the Quran from a guy, he appeared to him and he is in the shape of a man. And later they told him that this is Jibreel. Well, nice to meet you, Jibreel. 
I mean, the Jibreel is involved everything. I mean, all of Islam is based in two person, Jibreel and Muhammad. And later we find that Jibreel is the boyfriend of Muhammad, who is his name, Dahiel Kalbi. And I can show you the reference right now. Jibreel, the angel of Allah, he came to Muhammad in the image of a guy who is the most handsome guy in Mecca, and his name is Dahiel Kalbi. I'm so glad he did not come in the look or the shape of a Christian prince because that will be disgusting. The angel, he cloned a man who lived next door to Muhammad. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam? Muhammad, when I explain why this Dahil Kalbi, he stay late in his room. So they come to him, you know, there's there's a story where Ibn Abbas, he came to the house of Muhammad and he saw them, the Muslim, they put it there, they say in, in the translation to you, they say to you, he found them in meditation situation. Meditation situation, what is that? In the bed? Two guys in one room. What do you mean meditation situation? Explain to us more, please. Ibn Abbas said, right away, the Kalbi, he left. Ibn Abbas said to Muhammad, is it this is the Kalbi? <laughs> the Prophet said, well, he looked like the Kalbi, but this is Jibreel. <laughs> So I don't care. This is Jibreel. This is the Hiyal Kalbi. There is no proof that even Muhammad he saw Jibreel. And there is no way Allah is talking if he is God, he will say in the name of Allah. And there is nowhere you can prove to me that Allah he said, I am God, worship me. And even you do not know where the name Allah is coming from. You Muslims are totally disconnected and you have no connection with your religion, if we can call it a religion. It's an absolute cult, full of fictions, and the mystery is not coming because uh, it's a mysterious religion. No, it's because it's a collection of cults. To the point it became so confusing, not mysterious. This is why if you try to read any verse in the Quran and to read the interpretation, interpretation for it, you will see the Muslims, scholars, agree. The Muslim scholars, by the way, agree in one thing. They agree about not to agree what the verse mean. This is the only agreement the Muslims have. We agree about not to agree. So every verse have tons of interpretation and everyone give you his own one and no but and, and at the end of the day just to you know to stop digging for the in their nose they say to you and allah knows best if i type right now in the in the in, in google in the front of you if i type in google allah knows best what i will get let me let me try hold on let me try that i want to scare you just to show you the stupidity of this cult. <clears throat> Allah knows best. Allah knows best a week of Islam. Uh, 20 and plus quote, Allah knows best. Allah knows best YouTube. Allah knows, Allah knows best. Allah knows, Allah knows best. Allah knows best what is best, but Allah knows best what is what what is good for you. So don't panic. <laughs> That's a good one. Allah knows best, so don't panic. I mean, why we want to panic, man? Come on, oh, hold on, because Allah knows best. Sisterhood magazine. If, 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 I mean, look, and if you go and check how Allah knows best, you will find Allah knows nothing. Allah knows best is just to close the topic, is not to give an answer. 
I never saw anywhere anyhow Muslims have an answer for anything here we go if we say to them what Allah mean Allah knows best who is Allah Allah knows best why the Prophet did not speak to Allah Allah knows best why Allah spoke to everybody except the Prophet Allah knows best why Allah in the Quran says in the name of Allah Allah knows best why Allah in the Quran says women have a sperm coming from their ribs which is a stupid Allah knows best Allah knows nothing Allah knows best who is guided Allah knows best who is guided I mean I, this is the most stupid sentences ever Allah is knows best who is guided that's weird Allah knows the secret of hearts are you sure I can show you tons of examples from the Quran that Allah he know he know nothing about the secrets of hearts translation and meaning of Allah knows best in Arabic I mean even this one need translation okay. Allah knows best child sex coming I didn't know what is that uh, Allah knows best bride turn widow in 24 hours break silence <laughs> I mean the titles are hilarious you know Allah knows best the creator the sustainer the originator the barallala this is a book in in Amazon all of this the creator the sustainer the originator the the, the fridge the fridge the radiator the, the, the radiator the, the, and then Allah knows best Who is a Muslim is willing to give me a call and show me how Allah knows best? I challenge you to show me that Allah knows anything anyway. Anyone? Huh? Why you lie to people you say Allah knows best? Allah knows what? Hold on, this is a Muslim government website. NLA government, what is that? What country is that? I have sent just one from India and playing. I don't know what is that. Allah knows best. Allah knows best. Al Quran al Kareem. This is a religion based on Allah knows best, but they cannot prove to us that Allah knows anything. Who want to do so? Who is the Muslim want to show me where Allah He said to Muhammad that I am God, worship me. Where he said that to him? Any Muslim want to show us that? All what you have is a claim that a guy came to Muhammad and you call him Jibreel and supposedly he's an angel. He said to Muhammad what he said. Where is your God? The rest is up to Allah. Is not correct what is that I mean look look at the silly topic the phrase the rest is up to Allah is not correct praise be to Allah the phrase is not correct because it's mean that the one who says it put his trust in himself first if, if, if look how conservative Look how conservative. Guys, do you know how Muslims, they start saying, put your trust in Allah? Do you know, anyone knows how the Muslim, who, who is the one who corrected the Muslim and he accused them to be not worshipping the one God? Anyone remember? It was a Jew. A Jew, he said to Muhammad, you and your followers, you are not following one God our God he said to him why he said because you and your follower you say the following let me just find you the hadith let me see Mm 
even this one it was from a Jew from a Jew let me see if we can find it in English I don't know why my keyboard is not connecting the, the Arabic letters together. Something wrong here. Okay, let's see. Oh. Let me show you. The, this search engine here in this English website is really not good. You know, you, you search for something that give you any any word that appears doesn't give you a sentence. Um, look like we need to change the search. All right. Let's see. All right, let us hope now we will find it better. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> You're Muslims. By the way, they will say to you this Hadith is Da'if, so we can find you the strong one in case you don't like you'd like to see the one it says Sahih. Read with me carefully. Actually, this is not hold on. Let me this is not the one I want to show you. But we can read it anyway. I mean it doesn't hurt. Mm-hmm. There we go. <clears throat> -da 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 -da. The Hadith is coming. Hey, what's wrong with this uh, website? Ah. <sighs> I don't like to say something without showing the proof and the reference. You know. You know them. They will say he is lying. You know them, don't you? When Muhammad, he said, don't say what Allah wills and what so wills, which means he wills, but say what Allah wills and afterward so and so wills. How Muhammad, he learned this? It was from a Jew. A Jew, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, "You are you you people are doing blasphemy against God. You don't worship one God." He said to him, "Why?" He said, "Because you say what Allah will and what you what, what you will and what Allah will." I'm just trying to find the hadith in English. Mm hmm. 
I mean, this is a horrible website. I have the hate in the front of me in Arabic, but I cannot find it. Let us try another option. Oh, man. All right. <clears throat> Do you see it? We found it finally. Do you see it, Muslims? And this is Sahih. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasir, from Qutada, a woman, from blah, 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 that a Jew, who, 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 a Jew, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, we worship one God. Don't they? How many times you heard the Muslim saying we are very conservative in worshiping one God? Look what happened. A Jew came to the Prophet, Ibris him. A Jew. What the Jew said to Muhammad? You are stating up a revolt to to God. Hmm? To God. He did not say what they are saying. The translation here and associating others with him with who with God the Jew continues saying you say you say who Muhammad whatever Allah wills and you will and you say by the Kaaba they swear by the Kaaba <laughs> so the Prophet commanded them if they wanted to swear an oath to say by Allah of the Kaaba and say whatever Allah wills and then what you wills guys do you see it so who is the prophet here the Jew why all this time look you hear muhammad right away in the second in a second he changed the way they pray the way they swear in a second just because a jew he said that to them do you see it and is this hadith da'if or it is fat that's a good question a brother is this hadith da'if or it is very fat the answer brother it is very fat so you cannot say to me this is the eve don't play the game with me brother this is the eve hadith the eve everything islam the eve mean weak islam is weak muhammad is weak aisha is weak allah is weak jibreel is weak everything in islam is weak and allah knows best now here if you want to ask yourself a smart question, if you are a Muslim, and God forbid you ask yourself such a question, I mean, a smart Muslim asking himself, a Muslim asking himself a smart question, that's horrible. It's like, what happened, brother? Do you, did you see a doctor? Are you okay? Sit and meditate in this story. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, why all this time his God did not give his attention that you are wrong, Muhammad? You should not say that. And as you see, Muhammad, he agreed with the Jews that they should not say that. And he did exactly as the Jew said. Are you following with me, guys? Are you following? This is cannot be a prophet. Imagine we have Muhammad here with us and Christian Prince, he gave him a call and he said to him, you say this and you say this, you say this, this, you should not say that. And then Muhammad right away, Christian Prince, he left. He said to them, from now on, we should do what the Christian Prince said. Or, did you hear him? <laughs> what? A, that's a cute prophet. I love this prophet. He is very cute. He should work in the circus. That is a comedy, my friend. That cannot be a prophet of God. 
how in the world you Muslims you call the Jews the lost one the cursed one in chapter 1 verse number 7 the Christian and the Jews the Christian are lost and the Jews are the cursed and yet the cursed are the one who is teaching you how to worship the oneness of God how not to associate because do you know what this guy is saying to him here he is saying you are associating others with God this is a very serious accusation actually uh, I'm glad I stopped by this website where they are trying to correct the Abdul and they are saying to them what let us go back let's go back what they were saying the phrase the phrase I have done my best and the rest for Allah is wrong I mean look at this is silly religion they focus in the stupid things like you cannot say that you cannot say that to brother you cannot because that mean you depend in yourself what's wrong if depending in yourself my friend this is why Muslims they never accomplish anything because the true God our God he asked us to do the work we work and then we pray not we pray and then we don't work what you are asking him is not to depend on in, in, in himself at all the guy he said I did my best and the rest for Allah so if Allah is God well I will leave the rest to make me successful what's wrong with that but they are very silly people they go after you by word by word and they start telling you what is right what's wrong when everything they do in their religion is wrong the true Lord he asked his followers to work first and to pray while they are working and here not to pray like stand and do this no you can pray to God to make you successful to do what you need to do in the Middle East we have no electricity why you call the electricity company the electricity in our area is not coming brother what is the problem brother inshallah we are going to purchase a new transistor you call a month after assalamu alaikum brother i called you a month ago and i asked you why we don't have electricity you said inshallah allah is willing we are going to buy a transistor did you buy it brother well my friend are you stupid or what didn't i say to you inshallah until now allah did not well what we can do <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and until now we don't have electricity hmm? inshallah the cult of inshallah and there is no Allah and there is no will of Allah right here we go we have a guy he is saying to us Jesus was a man well, how you can explain to us that Jesus, he was a man, but yet he can resurrect people from death, Mr. Man. You see, all what you saw in Jesus is only that he is a man. Well, Allah was a man. You want me to show you? Allah is a man and he is fat and he have a curry here. Do you want to challenge me, Abu? Hello? Hello? Do you want to call me and show you that Allah is a fat man and he is short? Abdul Abdul what lamo what lamo lemonade you are a Muslim you are not allowed to drink lemonade you drink camel urine don't mention that word please that will offend the Muslims don't ever mention lemonade for them the best drink prescribed by the Prophet and he knows best what is better for you it was camel urine Who is the Abdul wanna call me? Lamo? Lamo? Lamo, Lamo, Lamo. We will give Lamo for every citizen in the heaven of Allah. What Lamo? Even your God, he never mentioned lemon in the, in the heaven. He mentioned to you, there's two kinds of fruits in the heaven. Actually, one kind of, there's banana and grapes. And there's one kind of meat, which is a bird meat. I mean, this is the most boring buffet ever. We will spend our eternity eating bird meat. That's it. What a chicken forever. I mean, your God, he never heard of fish. He never heard of a shrimp. He never heard of a lobster. 
you never heard of uh, uh, shish kebab I mean eternity eating bird you will pray for me Christian you pray for me every day you curse me every day do you want to show you the verse don't you isn't it you who says please Allah please Allah don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews don't you hey, hey by the way I heard in Pennsylvania the Muslims are collecting donations for the victims the Jewish victim in the synagogue my brother are you going to collect donation for the victims of Islam by who, who they are killed you know from the Jews your prophet he killed 900 Jews in two hours when you are going to start collect donation for them hypocrites you want to fool the society here in USA that you Muslims you love the Jews isn't it your prophet he says time will come and the Jew will hide behind the rock and he will say and the rock and the rock and the tree will, will scream and say there's a Jew behind me kill him hypocrites yeah Islam is the best in stupidity the only religion says that man have a sperm coming from his backbone is Islam the only religion says women have a sperm coming from her ribs is Islam this is why I'm single now I'm, I'm afraid I'm afraid to get married and you know I, I put my hand in the ribs of my wife and it's lawful to do so and then I find a sperm there I mean I'm really scared I always heard and like I, I thought women they have breast but I never heard of breast testicles so much hate oh hold on hold on this guy this guy is hitting hard Abdul isn't it your God who said that Allah he will supply hate to the Christians are you are you insulting Allah my friend read with me Abdul and in a second you will see he will change the topic and he don't want to talk about hate no more hold on <laughs> just watch watch he just accused us of hate right all right okay my friend according to your Quran any Christian who have a hate in his heart Allah is the one who provide him with hate until eternity chapter 5 verse number 14 what do you say to Allah, my friend? Do you have a message to Allah? Abdul, do you have a message to Allah about his hate? The hate teacher, Allah. The hate vendor, Allah. Your God is the vendor of hate. His Quran in front of you. For those two who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred. Do you see it, Abdul? Your God obviously is the devil because the one who strings any community with hatred, he is the devil. And yet you are accusing us with hatred. And look how what he did, guys. Let me show you what he did. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to move the text. Look, the only the only religion in the world who gave their God a finger is Muslims. Look what he did. Always you will see a Muslim from ISIS, from Al-Qaeda, they give their God a finger. I'm not making things up. Read, look with me. There is only one, and he gave him a finger. Do you see it? Do you see it? They have no shame to give their God a finger. And if you ask him why you are giving Allah a finger, he says, I'm saying to you, it's one. One what? What the finger have to do with him being one? Oh, the prophet, he did that. Well, Allah, obviously your prophet has given him a finger. What's wrong with this religion? And how Allah can be one anyway? One what? One in number, one in person, one what? They don't know. Do you dare to call me and tell me Allah is one what? What do you think, guys? Do this guy dare to call me and tell the Allah is one what? He's one what? Is that a number? <laughs> this this is this is a crazy, stupid religion. They don't know what they are talking about. Allah is one. One what? They don't know.
look at him he's he's dead he's not even talking i mean he's, this guy is scratching his ass i mean his head looking for an answer allah is one what really hmm? like i just told him allah is one but i don't know allah is one what allah is one what and abdul who cares if allah is one or 20 that the question is if he is a true and exist or not just to make it just to make it simple for those who they are slow a little bit I'm not saying that here there are some people they are slow but obviously there is some people they are slow it's okay it's okay to be slow you know me myself I'm very slow too as an example when I was studying the Quran uh, for this time I was so slow until I invoke Allah and then he speed up my study very fast he sent me a dish of shish kebab and i get the poor of 40 men have you ever heard of a prophet of god he was the most weak man in six and then he invoked his god and then his god he sent him an angel hello open the door who is this it is late here i cannot open the door for you it's san francisco it's very dangerous open the door sorry I cannot my wife is not here she is I, I feel safe when she is here I am I cannot open the door for you Muhammad I am Jibreel open the door man what do, what do you want Jibreel now I mean I am alone and you are alone and it's not lawful it's for two men to be together and remember we are in San Francisco open the door I have a dish of shish kebab for you are you serious shish kebab for me who made it Allah Oh boy, oh, in this case, I will open the door for you, but please, please, please promise me you will not do anything. He opened the door for him and he gave him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40 men in sex. This is a prophet of God, and this is a story coming from a prophet of God. And by the way, I tried this recipe. I ate shish kebab every day and nothing happened. <laughs> What a funny recipe, man. Shish kebab. Allah, the, the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, Allah is the almighty God. If you want something to be, he say, be is going to be. Yeah, right. So why he went to the kitchen and he made a recipe of shish kebab and he put a spice in it and he sent it to Muhammad with the delivery boy, Jibreel. And then after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Why he don't say, get the power of 40 men. And Muhammad right away like, boing, his private part like, boing. This did not happen. He sent him a dish, a physical, literally dish. Muhammad, he had to eat it. And after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. And by the way, this is a true story. Allah knows best. Who is a Muslim who dare to call me, Abdul? Please, please. We are desperately waiting for one Muslim to show me where Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. Until now, we could not find one. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like it. And don't forget to unsubscribe to our channel if you like it too. Because according to Islam, the good deeds erase the bad deeds. Brother. So when you subscribe, you unsubscribe to my channel. This is a bad deed. Then you subscribe again. That will delete the bad deeds. Unbelievable. Wisdom. I mean, this is wisdom. This is the most wise religion ever. So I will go right now, rape a woman, and then I will make a donation. And now the good deed will wipe out the bad deeds. <sighs> hey, Juno, how are you, my friend? Thank you for the love, my friend. Any Muslim would like to call me? Hello? Hello? So you give us a speech about Allah is God, Allah is Almighty, and then we find that not even one of you can provide us with anything. You fabricate miracles in the Quran when it is the opposite, it's a joke. Who is the Muslim he have the courage to call me? Let us make the same challenge. We made it yesterday. Yesterday I made the following challenge, which is very hard for the Muslims. I said to them, I challenge you to ask me a question to ask you at that a question so you answer me the question you asked me to ask you I'm sure a Muslim like he's getting dizzy now yeah his eyes became across eyes and he's like boing, boing, boing. What, what's happening here what, what is, can you say it again Abdul listen carefully 
I challenge you to call me to ask you a question which you want me to ask you so I will ask you the question you want me to ask back to you and I challenge you to answer the question you asked me to ask you why 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 I'm getting dizzy how, how I can understand what he said this is very complicated we are Muslims we can't understand this this is in, like mission impossible I do to make it simple for you get me the best question you like me to answer you and it's very easy for you to answer I challenge you to answer the question you like me to ask you even the question you want me to ask you you cannot answer this is the most stupid religion we have only to dislike I mean this is a shaming to them Abdul please give us more dislike this is a blessing for me only to dislike why we have 77 like and two dislike 77 guys can't you make it 72 the prophet he stuck with number 72 or number 70 at least Muhammad he hear words from the Bible he just stuck with them he stuck with the number 40, he stuck with the number 3, he stuck with the number 70. And if you go, you will find that where he stole those numbers from. Any Abdul? Hello? My Skype is open. If there is any Abdul would like to call me. Now we go back to the Islamic website to explain to us why Allah is God. Look at this guy here. All right, five reason I am convinced Allah is God, and they use even the use names are not Islamic. Jess Willer. A number of years ago, I dearly beloved uh, relative mine felt uh, blah, blah blah blah. Let's go to business. Allah is Arabic word for God. That's stupid. Even Muslims don't believe in this garbage. For the Muslims, Allah is a name, not a word mean God. Guys, do you remember the guy who came to debate me once? His name is Ali Dawa. Anyone remember? And I made him falafel hummus, shish kebab. He came the second day. The second day, I did not make him falafel hummus, shish kebab. I made him, uh, uh, you know, like zzzz, <laughs> liquid. This guy, when he came to me first time, he have no idea who is he's, he's talk, who's dealing with who. This guy, he claimed that he go and do dawa in the street. Ali Dawa. And uh, a Christian prince, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find the video of Ali Dawa. So we can laugh a little bit. <clears throat> Ali Dawa. Hello? Hello? I guess this is a Muslim, but I don't know why he's talking, not talking. Are you there, my friend? Hello? Well, if you don't talk, I'm going to hang up on you. Are you there? All right. Let us see, where is Ali Dawa? Ali Dawa. Um, I, I reviewed your stuff, Christian Prince. Don't think that I'm not watching your YouTube channel. Um, first of all, when I said 30 minutes yesterday, I was clear about that. So don't come saying you're a coward because you left, because guess what? I'm back. And this is what I do for um, pretty much a living, all right? So I give da'wah, and mashallah, people do convert from Christianity, atheism, and one after sun every day. Now, um, Christian Prince, let's get back to some of the points, and we can talk about the miracles of the Quran if you want, uh, the points we were discussing yesterday. The first one was, we were talking about the term Allah. Now, the term Allah, as I mentioned to you, is God. It's al-ilah, if you want to say Allah, 
which means the God. It's a very simple term. It's a term that has been coined for over 14 centuries and prior to that as well. It's mentioned in Aramaic. It's mentioned in Hebrew in different forms. All right. So you were saying yesterday that la means the moon God because you say alhamdulillah. Well, then my argument to you would be what about Masha Allah? What about insha Allah? What about subhanallah? The only one you see there is alhamdulillah. You, so you're looking at only alhamdulillah, but you skip Masha Allah, insha Allah, subhanallah. What's going on? So Masha Allah, insha Allah, subhanallah also have meanings. Insha Allah means, for example, um, Allah willing, God willing. Now you said yesterday, if the word Allah, you were saying, why isn't Allah included in the shahada in such a way? There is no Allah but Allah. Guess what? You can say that. There's nothing wrong with that because the word Allah has multiple um, purposes. So the word Allah can mean God and it is also the name of Allah. You see, subhanAllah, this is one of the miracles of Allah's name, but you fail to realize that. So it's not a misinterpret. It's not a, it's, it's all it is. It's a misinterpretation in your head. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you haven't investigated uh, language enough. You may be knowledgeable in some areas of Christianity, but you're really weak in your language. You're really weak in your language there. I don't understand why you fail to acknowledge that the word Allah means God. It's that simple. It means the God. We can also talk about other things. I want to talk to you about the position of Muhammad per Quranic verse 2, 285 and 2, 253. I will destroy you on that refutation as well, kindly. Yeah, it's a kind refutation. <laughs> and we can talk about the marriage of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because I saw that you mentioned that yesterday. We can talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being bewitched. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about. But again, I will mention this right now because I'm an active guy and we're about to go do da'wah and invite some Christians, atheists and whatnot, live street da'wah. So I do have some time limit right now. I will speak to you for another 20 to 30 minutes and then after that we can have another talk. That's just the nature of my life. I'm a busy guy, right? I don't have time to be online all day. He's a busy I can guy. keep coming back over and over and I will keep coming back. But I'm gonna, I have things to do and that's just the nature of my lifestyle. So I'm going to let you touch on that first point, the term Allah, then we can move over to the position of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Thanks. You have 20 minutes only and you spend 20 minutes talking already. You're gone. You're just coming here just to hit and run. That's it. You're trying to seek revenge for what happened to you yesterday. Is that correct? That's it. If you are going to do that one in the street, you can do it here. Here we go. I have I have hundreds of people listening to you. You have no excuse. It's a false excuse. It's a super false excuse. And you're attacking everybody. And you know, you don't stop attacking like stop talking like kids. You're talking like a kid. First of all, there's isn't it him who said yesterday, Allah is not a name of God, it's a word, mean God. Now he changed his mind because the Muslims they humiliated him, obviously. Now he said, and we heard him, Allah is a word, mean God, and it is a name of God. But yesterday it was not a name of God, it was not. Everybody can go and watch the video for yesterday and you will see he refused to accept that Allah is a word as name. It's just a generic word for God. Now, when he came here, he is coming to get back his reputation because the Muslim, obviously, they let him busted. They said to him, how you say that? So what you said to me yesterday was different from, from today. Yesterday, you, I can play your voice again. You know the video is there on YouTube. Yesterday you said the word Allah is just a word for God, which means there's people in San Francisco, huh? They call their God Satan, they worship Satan, so they can call him Allah. You are agreeing that anyone who worship any God, he can call his God Allah. This is what you are saying to us. So Allah is not a name of a God for the Muslims, it's just a generic word for anyone any god in this earth this is what you say and this is horrible for you as a muslim to say claiming that you go in the street to bring people to islam but yet you have no idea who's allah and let me remind you the question was just to show you that how childish the muslims are the question was who is allah you spend two hours debating about the name i'm not asking you even then i know his name is allah <laughs> This is not even the question. <laughs> the question, who is Allah? Your prophet never spoke to him. Never heard him. Never received a message from him directly. 
never receive a word from him directly. How Muhammad he is teaching you about Allah, but yet you do not know Allah. Your teacher himself, you know, the funny about Islam, by the way, that's Allah he spoke to Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great is a bisexual. This guy is a gay. He sleeps with men and women. Allah speak to Al Khadr. Allah speak to Moses. Allah speak to Adam. Allah speak to Salih. Allah speak to Jesus. Allah speak to everybody. Even to Satan, but yet he don't want to speak with Muhammad. Look like Allah was doing da'wah in the street in New Jersey, and he have only 20 minutes. He spent that 20 minutes with Jesus and Moses and Isa, but he cannot spend it with Muhammad. I like this guy, Christian. Prince. How like come him. Allah, he speak to everybody except his favorite prophet? Guys, if you are a king, if you are a king, and you don't allow Muhammad to enter to your room or to speak to you or to talk to you, but you allowed everyone else, that's mean you are no one. Is that correct? Do we agree on that? This God, he have no place for Muhammad. He don't want to talk to him. He don't want to spend time with him. You know, but yet he have chapters just to sponsor the sexual desire of Muhammad. This is why Aisha, she said to Muhammad, Inni ara rabbuka yusari'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad. When Muhammad, he made a chapter saying that any Muslim woman, she gave herself to the Prophet to have sex with him. Have her an open license for Muhammad. What Aisha, she said? She said the following. Oh, it seemed to me that your Lord has hastens to satisfy your desire, Muhammad. Aisha, she is exposing Muhammad. She is saying the truth. He never spoke to his God, but his God right away next to his sexual desire. Muhammad, he have a desire for women to give himself to him. Allah right away is there. And Aisha, she noticed. You see, Aisha is not stupid. I gave you the mic and I listened to you. Listen, <coughs> Aisha is not stupid. Right away, immediately, she noticed that Muhammad he is fabricating Quran just to satisfy his sexual desire. Now, Mr. Muslim da uh, Dawa or Dai, your beard is long and you claim that you have a speak, a speak better Arabic than mine. Is that correct? I don't know if I heard you correctly. There's a word I don't understand in the Quran. I want you to tell me what this word means. I will give you 20 seconds to type in the text the meaning of the word. All right? And I want the answer immediately. And I want somebody to count the time because it doesn't take time to count, the, to type the word down. What the word is, listen to me, what the word is tabarak mean? Muslim die. What the word is tabarak mean? Is tabarak. Five seconds. Ten seconds. Anyway, anyway. He was searching Google. You can watch that debate, guys. Uh, this is, uh, you can find this uh, video. In the unmasking fools, you know, you can download it from there or you can watch it. You can go there and you can get uh, actually unmasking fools. He is doing a really great job. He is collecting a lot of debates. And uh, there's other guy too. He have a channel. It's called the Christian Prince Debates. So those who they are looking for to watch debates, etc., like just the debates, this guy is bit is putting them is just there, you know. But you will notice here. How the Muslims he got spanked. He have no idea. This guy is going do, doing da'wah in the street, claiming that he is a missionary for Islam, bringing people to Islam supposedly, but he do not know even if Allah is a name of the God of Islam or just a generic word meaning God. He got busted. I made him shish kebab. He come the second day, seeking revenge, and I made him not this time not shish kebab. I burned him. There's nothing left. He can watch the debate and laugh. Islam is a stupid religion. 
and I don't blame you for not being able to answer if I am a Muslim me myself I will not be able to answer too. you see it's not just about how smart are you how much educated are you you can it doesn't matter how smart you are still you cannot defend stupid cult you can defend the stupid cult only if you're speaking to somebody is uneducated about your cult because then whatever you say to him he do not know what you are talking about you can make a speech from now until tomorrow and then you like this is what uh, Shabir Ali you know you do, do Shabir Ali you ask him a question about Islam he speak about everything except the question and not only that those people they choose carefully they debate who that's why this guy he debated me first time he been spanked badly and the the uh, the debate there actually um, uh, I see the video actually in uh, in the um, account of a guy his name is pin I think he is here uh, pin p i n it's called Muslim Dawa versus Christian Prince uh, uh, pt1 I look like he is downloading that from unmasking the fools too which means you can find that in the unmasking the full account this is how they are and this is who they are they have no idea what they are worshiping they have no idea who is their god or what they keep saying to us allah is the only true god how why who they don't know they don't know This is what happened to you when you follow a cult. You have no idea what you are following. You have no idea what you believe in. It's just a collection of cult. But always you notice that those people, they want to debate someone who do not know anything. The second they notice that you know do you remember guys the guy from uh, from uh, philippine this guy we made videos let's see if i can find you challenging christians Where is the Christians? How come there is no Christian who debate me? Where is the Christians who have the answer? So somebody sent me his video and I said, okay, well, this guy desperately he is looking for a Christian to debate him. So let us do it. Please. So I send him a message says I'm waiting for you the first message we send he never answered the second message He sent we never answer. So what we did he have his phone number listed in Facebook. We called him at his home Anyone remember the name of the guy Anyone remember the name of the Filipino guy? We called him and the excuse he wanted he don't want to debate me because I am not a real American He said to us I debated the real American guy Real what? Are you sure? <laughs> Real American guy? So you will debate me only if I am a real American? Are you saying you will debate me only if I am a redhead or something? If I have a blue eyes? This guy he have an accent. He, this is what he said. Honest to God, this is what he said. He will not debate me because I am not a real American. He debated a real American. Obviously, it's just an excuse to escape the humiliation. Yeah, no, I cannot find. I can't remember his name to search the video actually. Um, 
Uh, yeah, in order to find the video, because it's really funny. Uh, <clears throat> but we need to remember the name. Maybe next time. Uh, anyway, guys, I can't really stay long. I just received a call from the from the person who will go and do the repair. Uh, uh, so I'm expecting him to come very soon. I hope I hope that next time we go on air, the Muslims will call us and they will be very generous with their answers and they will be brave to debate us. Uh, I will try tomorrow to do a live broadcast, and I will uh, I will keep it the same question. Actually, maybe we can get lucky, and we can get some Muslims who will debate us and will challenge us. Maybe. Remember, all of Islam is based on maybe. If you read the miracles of the, the science of the Quran, the Muslim they say to you, maybe Allah here He meant this. Maybe. I mean, have you ever heard of science? It's called the science of maybe. Muslims are very famous with two things, inshallah and maybe. And then to stop the questions, they say to you, Allah knows best. So with Allah knows nothing, I have to finish our my broadcast for today. As I said, I have this, I just received a call for from the gentleman who would do the repair. I'm working in my uh, heater. You know, the weather is really getting so cold. And right now I'm wearing, uh, oof, man, this is what happened to you when you are uh, maybe one day maybe uh, Allah will send me a lot of money so I can replace my heater brother and get a brand new one maybe maybe it's going to happen maybe Allah he sent a lot of money <laughs> but he will not send it to Somalia hmm. yeah 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 anyway thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and if you are a Muslim and you get offended, please don't be offended. I don't mean to offend you. I just mean to show you how stupid your cult is. The God you worship look like for me like a snake. Even the word in, in Arabic is the most scary, disgusting drawing. Look at this word, man. Do you see something really horrifying with this name? It's a snake. I'm not going to follow a snake and I will not worship a snake and the proof that your God is a snake is the teaching of that snake hate and killing and violence and everything disgusting and ugly my Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them and the fruit of your God is a snake fruit poison how you explain to me that the God which you call him God he said he want to spread hate and enmity between the Christians what did what good that will do and then you go in the, in Pennsylvania and you say we Muslims we are going to collect donation for the victims the Jewish victim in the synagogue when your Quran is full of hatred verses against the Christian and the Jews ordering them to kill to be killed that's your God not mine I worship the true God the Almighty the God of love and mercy the one who want to unite mankind the one who don't judge by a look or a color not like your God who prefer always white people this is why in the heaven of Islam no black is allowed no Asian is allowed everybody will turn to be white even the virgins are white even the boys are not only white they are extremely white to the point you can see through for this is a sick God. Exager exaggeration about the whitening of those people. Because he is racist. Thank you for being with me, guys. And enter with you again soon. Tomorrow, I hope. God bless. Christ is Lord. And Islam is made by a dummy for the dummy. And we are not dummies. Thank you. Take care.